Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. This is the first video uh, in a series where we will be looking at Apex Utility AI. In this first video, we will be setting the scene for the following videos. Um, I will be showing you the scene or the game that we are going to use as a showcase for the Apex Utility AI. And I'm going to give you a brief um, overview of the different components involved um, or included with the Apex Utility AI. Now before we move on to look at the actual AI, um, let's just set the scene. As you've probably noticed we have this scene ready here and you may recognize it. Um, it is the survival shooter made by Unity um, but modified by us um, to have the little boy controlled by the AI instead of being controlled uh, by the player. So let's just start it and you can see what's going on. Now as um, you've probably also noticed uh, it looks a little bit different from uh, the original. We've added a few uh, additional items to the game so that we have some power-ups that our little guy can use. Um, specifically bombs and health power-ups. There you go, we use the bomb. Um, and this is to give the AI uh, more options uh, to choose between. So um, this is the end goal. Um, this is what we'll be aiming to implement uh, during these tutorial videos. Um, so that is the scene. Now we've made a lot of uh, different changes uh, to this uh, survival the shooter demo. Um, this will not be uh, explained in the videos but of course you can look at the different implementations of various parts of, of uh, the game code um, to see some better practices of doing uh, various things from pooling to um, general entity management and, and such. Okay. So with the scene set up let's have a look at the AI. So Apex Utility AI is a foundation on which you can construct your own AIs. It includes an editor where you can define the various elements um, that the AI is made from. Uh, and it includes a number of tools on top of that uh, to aid you in the process of creating an AI. Now the goal of an AI is ultimately to control the actions of one or more entities. Um, to have them behave the way you want, intelligently, uh, or not, uh, depending on what kind of AI um, you want your units to have. Now the way this is typically done is that you have a number of different options and then you select between these options and choose the one that best fits the situation at any given point in time. Now the utility AI uh, differs from other types of AI. Uh, it is the next step up, you can say. Um, you have finite state machines, you have uh, behavior trees, and then you have the utility AI. The utility AI uh, differs from other AIs uh, in the way that it finds the right action to execute. The utility portion of the name um, basically ne means that it finds whatever action has the proper or the best utility for any any given situation. Now we won't be going into details with the different elements of the AI in this video. We will do that in, in other videos. Um, but this is what you see here is one of the AIs that is attached to the little guy. Uh, this is the one that moves the, um, the unit or the, the little boy around. And as you can see it, it looks rather simple and it is. Um, so this is what controls him. Now you can see it's made of, of, of different elements. Um, I'll briefly touch of these, on, on these. Um, we have uh, something that we call selectors. These are the big boxes here. Each selector uh, needs to select between different options and ultimately it will result in an action being selected and executed. Each selector will have a number of qualifiers to select between. The qualifiers are each of the elements inside the selector. Each qualifier will represent a potential action 
and it will score different uh, information available to it in order to make a decision whether or not this particular qualifier is the right one to choose. Each qualifier is also associated, associated with an action and that action is the one to be executed if the qualifier is chosen. So that's basically it. It's pretty simple setup and it's uh, easy to overview. We will be going into much more detail with the different elements and the edits itself uh, in other videos. Now lastly in this video I'm going to show you uh, the rest of um, the tools uh, involved with creating an AI just so that you know where to go if you need that specific functionality. Under tools um, you have the Apex menu that you may be familiar, familiar with and as you can see we have um, four different entries related to the AI. We have the editor, the one you see here. You can obviously uh, create more, as many as you want. In addition to that we have a repair tool that will uh, enable you to repair your AI if you change uh, class names, uh, property names and such, um, which will break the AI, but then you can easily repair it using this tool. We have an investigator which will allow you to investigate various uh, things about the AI. You can see where the AI is being used and what scenes and what prefabs. You can see what types are being used in the AI so that you can uh, can aid you in, in, for instance, cleaning up unused types and, and so forth. And then of course we have some settings. Now the settings uh, allow you to change various uh, parts of the visuals on uh, the editor and other things such as auto-saving, uh, whether or not to show tooltips, uh, confirm, deletes and, and such. We also have a skinning option that allows you to choose between different skins if you are not happy with how the uh, elements look. You can try and choose some other skins and see if they uh, fit better. So that's all um, for this introductional video. Um, I will see you in the next video.